I sold over a hundred thousand dollars worth of name brand products on Amazon in just two weeks, my first back to school season. And I know what you're thinking. I want to make a bunch of money on Amazon with back to school season fast approaching, but I'm not sure how. And in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through the ultimate back to school guide important dates, what sells best, merchant fulfilled secrets, how to source products to sell on Amazon for back to school and everything in between. Let's get right into it. So back to school really came out of nowhere for me a couple years ago. I had been selling name brand products on Amazon via online arbitrage for like six months. But I had pretty much only been doing merchant field and I had gone on vacation for like the first two weeks of August, which is a terrible idea if you want to make a bunch of money for back to school. And I got home after going to the Miami Sellers Conference, which I had really luckily been able to attend because I had already been on vacation at the time. That was my first time really meeting a ton of other Amazon sellers in person and getting to see guys who walked around similar to me and liked basketball the same way. They were doing 100, 200K, a million a month selling on Amazon. That really expanded my brain around what was possible. And I got home motivated and a new man and turned on my merchant fulfilled listings on like August 15th and like literally just went crazy immediately. It blew my mind how much higher demand is for certain products during back to school and just how much parents are buying stuff for their kids. And that gives us a really good opportunity as Amazon sellers to supply those products and make big profits in the process. Throughout that two week period from middle of August to end of August, I pretty much averaged like a thousand bucks a day in profit. It was really stressful making sure all the merchant fulfilled orders could go out, but it's completely worth it. So to start off, what actually sells best during back to school? For the most part, exactly what you would expect. Crayons, backpacks, school supplies, calculators, shoes, clothing, and everything in between. And the nice thing is Amazon makes it public what other Amazon sellers are carrying. So pretty easily, you can go ahead on a calculator listing or a crayon listing that you can see a bunch of other sellers on and actually use the storefront stocking method and look inside the storefronts of those other sellers to see really good items. And that's the best place to start in regards to prop research for back to school items. A major mistake a lot of beginners make is thinking that manual sourcing listings is better, like just going on staples and searching school supplies and then referencing over to Amazon to see what's good. That's a complete waste of time in my opinion. What makes a lot more sense is to go to a Nike backpack listing or a crayon listing that did really well last year because Keepa shows us that data and then go ahead and storefront stock those sellers that sold at the peak when that item was most expensive using what's called the data buy box statistics method. So for product research, what I think makes the most sense is taking advantage of storefront stocking and then eventually manual sourcing your favorite websites when they have a good deal going on, which gets into my next point. What are the important dates for back to school? We're filming this at the end of June and for the past couple months, people have been asking me all the time, Miles, when does back to school season start? And at this point, we're pretty much getting into it. Some important dates you need to know for back to school season on Amazon, demand really starts to pick up on the products in early July. The peak of back to school really starts to kick off in late July, as well as the big, big best dates are gonna be between August 5th and August 20th. So if you're looking to take some time off from work to have extra time to merchant fulfilled, that's when to do it. Back to school season ends in mid-September and demand really starts to taper off at the end of August as well. However, every listing is unique and it's important to look at last year's Keepa data on any item you're buying so that you know when the peak was last year to be fully prepared. As well as right at the start of back to school, pretty much this next week or two, we get into the 4th of July, which is a really, really good time when pretty much every website under the sun runs a deal. And the week after that in mid-July typically is when Amazon Prime Day happens and every retailer runs a deal to compete with Prime Day, which gives a ton of good opportunity for manual sourcing. Keep an eye on my channel during those dates as I'm gonna have a lot of good live sourcing content for you guys to show you guys exactly how to find products, screen sharing you, showing you guys the process of using SellerAmp and Keepa to find products live. A super common question I've been getting really often is I saw this listing did well last year. It's not quite profitable right now. Should I buy and hold it? Personally, I'm not a fan of that. I think it takes unnecessary risk and is a little bit lazy if you're not already an experienced seller. Personally, I think it makes sense to really only focus on quick flips. Another super common question I've been asking is what should I be getting ungated in for back to school? Truth be told, I wouldn't worry about ungating at all. I have a full ungating tour on my channel, so it's really nice and easy. It shouldn't be something you're looking to do on really anything if you haven't already found it profitably. Some brands that historically perform really well during back to school is whatever kids buy a lot in terms of what they wear and what they use at school. So like Crayola, Nike, Adidas, Puma, 
Under Armour, for example, and then whatever other products those sellers are carrying in their catalogs using the storefront stocking method to find other winners from there. It should be really obvious what you need to get on gated in just based on what your competitors are selling on different listings because if they have it listed and the sales ranks good and the price is stable or going up, we know they're making money on it. Another really big thing for back to school is going to be merchant fulfilling products. Merchant fulfilled is still super underrated in 2024. That's what let me scale my business really, really quick during back to school is a lot of my competitors and just a lot of the people that make content about selling on Amazon in general, were only talking about Amazon FBA, shipping products off in bulk to the Amazon warehouse. Instead, especially during the fourth quarter and during back to school, you can leverage merchant fulfilled and not need to wait for your products to get to Amazon. So say you're doing retail arbitrage, for example, you're going to the outlets, you can buy a product and literally get sales on it today. And you compare that to the way a lot of people do this. And of course you can do both, but finding products all in arbitrage, waiting five to seven days for it to get here. And then waiting one to three weeks for it to check into Amazon. It's a completely different story in terms of who makes money quicker, who learns quicker and who gets proof of concept and can scale their business quicker. So it's really important to leverage merchant fulfilled as well as retail arbitrage, especially if your state has a sales tax holiday, which is typically around this time of year when they give a period of time, like a weekend, for example, where there's no sales tax on certain types of products. So make sure to research if your state has a sales tax holiday. Leveraging Merchant Fulfilled is incredibly helpful because you can learn a lot quicker and replenish a lot quicker. Let's get into some really important Merchant Fulfilled tips. Right off the bat, you need to make sure you have your shipping templates set up correctly. I recommend charging free shipping for economy and standard orders and just baking into your cost. If you look at any listing, you'll see pretty much everyone's just matching the FBA buy box for pricing on Merchant Fulfilled listing because truth be told, you're probably not going to be able to get the buy box merchant filled on a listing unless there's other people already merchant filling that product. So you charge free shipping for economy and standard orders. I'd recommend charging something expensive like 20, 30 or $40 per order plus a dollar per pound for next day, two day and expedited orders. That ensures that even if a customer buys expensive shipping that you're rewarded handsomely with some extra profit in most cases because your standard shipping templates on Amazon, I think charge like $9 for a two day or so you end up losing money on a lot of them. So make sure you go ahead and change your shipping templates ASAP so you can actually make extra profit instead of lose profit when a customer buys that shipping. Occasionally though, Amazon shipping is gonna be incredibly expensive and you're gonna wanna use pirateship.com which is a third party shipping provider in case Amazon just seems super expensive, which every now and again it will. Another really important thing for back to school is gonna be leveraging zero day handling time. And that's basically the idea that if you say you'll ship your FBM orders quicker, Amazon Amazon gives you more buy box share. Because think about it, if the expected delivery date is August 15th versus August 13th on a specific product, Amazon's gonna give the buy box more to the seller who's willing to ship the orders quicker and get the products quicker to the customer because that's a much better customer experience and it's gonna increase Amazon's conversion rates. And overall, if you're willing to be in zero day handling time, you have to ship the products quicker, but you also get rewarded with more buy box share, more sales and more profits. Another important thing to be ready for is actually repricing correctly during back to school and definitely during Q4, you're going to see a lot of examples of listings where the competition's plummeting and the price is going up and you need to be ready to raise your prices as you go. Because all the time, there's going to be opportunity to gain extra profit on certain products as listings are going down in competition and going up in price. So if you see something selling super well, it makes sense to consider listing your prices and see if you can get buy box share on higher prices on those listings, especially during the heat of back to school. So if you do things correctly, guys, back to school is going to be an absolute onslaught of FBM orders. You're going to really get to grow your business quick and learn really quick, which is going to set you up for a massive quarter four later in the year between October and December when Halloween, early Black Friday sales, Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday, and eventually the Q4 rush in December touches down, which is basically back to school for a couple months rather than just two to three weeks of really, really good demand like we see during late July to mid August. Either way, it's all about the procs you specifically have listed. A couple of my coaching students last year, Max, Peter, and our other friend, Max, really, really turned up and went from complete beginners in April and May to all making over $10,000 profit in August. And that was the exact same way it was for me a couple years back. Back to school can be an absolutely life-changing period of time if you take action, take advantage of merchant fill, take advantage of retail arbitrage, take advantage of prime day sales and fourth July sales and your sales tax holiday to source inventory more profitably than you typically can. 
And if you're looking to get direct help and mentorship from me to maximize your back to school, now is a great time to apply for my coaching program where you'll work directly with me one-on-one to scale up your business. We'll pop up a bunch of testimonials of students we worked with. And if you're interested in getting direct one-on-one unparalleled access to me with my personal phone number, as well as three group coaching calls a week, a personal one-on-one Zoom between us where we'll source together and all my coupons, tips, tricks for both back to school and beyond, now's a great time to apply for my coaching program. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description for our application where you can see how you can actually apply to work with me and you can see a bunch of other students we've helped get great results during Q4, back to school and beyond. So if you guys have any questions about crushing back to school, please let me know down below in the description. A ton of good content on the way to really, really help you guys maximize this time and build a business or side hustle of your dreams this year in 2024. Let's get after it, guys. Tons of good opportunity. I'm here to help. Check out these videos if you want more good free content. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.